Okay, just a disclaimer, I did have a daughter about three months ago, so I do have postpartum, I think it's called hair loss, um, like in my edges. I had so many edges before and now I have like three left, so don't judge me. Also, um, I've had these braids in for about two months now, I think, almost, um, and so usually I wash them about once every three weeks if I'm using edge control, then probably once every two weeks. And then I do like a final wash before I take them out just so it's easier and there's not like built up with taking them out. Um, but I go ahead and I section off my hair into four sections. And you see how like I pull it out like away from my head and then section it. Um, I do that so that I make sure my hands can get in there when I'm washing it. If I just like held it down and put a hair tie in or whatever, whatever. I wouldn't have space for my fingers to get in there and like move around but I think I'm gonna do it yeah right there like where I test it out that's how I make sure I have room to to move the soap around to get some water in there so I just do it for all four sections Okay, on to the shower. So when I get in there, I'm gonna do a Princess Leia bun on one side. It just makes it easier um, to do like one side at a time without the hair in the way. And then this also makes sure that I don't get the hair wet. So I'm gonna pull the hair away from my scalp and get some water in there. Doo -doo -doo. I absolutely hate this shampoo, but it cost me like $12. So I kind of forced myself to use it and it's on my braids. So it's not like, you know, I'm doing a blah or anything like that. Just gonna get in there and scrub around. Make sure I have everything kind of saturated with shampoo and whatnot. I also do this method so that my ends don't get wet. Being that they are knotless, um, I don't really want any extra weight on them. So if my ends get wet, then it weighs my hair down dramatically. Okay, after you do all that, you're gonna put your shower head setting on pressure washing, that's what I call it. And you're gonna pressure wash your scalp and all that soap and shampoo and yada yada yada. Just go ahead and get that out. And I'm just gonna put this up in the Princess Leia bun and then repeat everything on the same side. Um, since I'm just repeating everything on the same side, I'm just gonna stop talking and like let you all enjoy the music. I'm feeling vibes on vibes I'm thinking dynamite I blow your candle lights You know I'm just that type No, them no big kill my vibe Them no big kill my vibe No big kill, them no big kill Them no big kill my vibe Eyes by set, full of the stars Get your champagne, well, it's a bad vibe If you hit your enemies, enemies try If you're not a friend of me, enter the light Cause you can never do my vibe But here with no sacrifices Everything was taken You had to make it Vibe killer Me and no go take shit Vibe killer And then when I'm done, I'm gonna put it up into just one big bun so I can continue showering and, you know, wash my face and whatnot. Whew, okay, so we made it out the shower. Um, just checking out my ends, see what's going on there. Making sure nothing got wet and they are still pretty dry. 
I'm gonna go in with some heat protectant. So I live in Texas and it's still hot here even in, what is this, November, October. Um, so heat protectant is important. And then this is a braid refresher. It's basically just oils um, that I use for my scalp and like kind of like the, what's it called? The, I don't know, middle part of my hair. And then some lot of body. Um, this for me is more so for, well not the smell, but holding things in place. So I'm gonna put on my bonnet after that. And then make sure I get the band right across my edges. Okay, we are back after, I don't know, some time. As you can see, I'm tired and whatnot. Um, so I think I just did it long enough for it to dry. I'm not really into working with wet hair while it's in braids. Got my edge control here and it looks pretty low. And actually on this day, I found out that my lovely husband has been using it as pomade in his hair because he ran out so yeah i have enough but I'm like what happens to my whole container he's been using it for a while apparently <laughs> so i'm just gonna go through i'm only gonna do the front like this section right here like the i guess my middle part section um, i'm gonna put extra on both sides and you could do your whole like front section if you want to but i don't really go anywhere i work from home I, you know i don't really do anything like that I don't frolic about, so I kind of just do it for this. Anyway, I'm going to put some in there, and then I'm going to um, go ahead and, like, twist it. And believe it or not, I feel like the Lottie body is the reason why this holds so well. So I don't have to have anything to hold in place because it just holds. So I'm going to twist it. I'm tucking it, like, behind my ear just to get it out the way for a second. As you can see, I've only done one side, but it does look a lot better than the left side that you see here. So I'm going to keep going. That was the last one. Um, I definitely do my edges a lot looser than I do the other ones because I am, you know, struggling with them right now. But that's it. I'm gonna put my bonnet on and then take my happy self to sleep. Oh, 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 oh.